Hot Squad's first podcast. I'm your host, Daniel, and this is my co-host, Michelle. And we're here with our lovely team librarian coordinator. I'm Sandra Rosa. And our awesome cameraman, Benny. Yo, yo, yo. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm going to step away and let them continue. We're going to start off with some library events. So on Wednesday, March 29th, we have the Bookaholics Teen Book Club at the Slido Library. We'll be discussing the book, The Boy in the Black Suit by Jason Reynolds. In April, we're going to have color time. We're going to make mandalas and on April 5th. We're going to have a blackout poetry session April 12th. Then we're going to have this big poetry slam slash poetry cafe April 19th. And then we're going to make wind chimes on April 26th. And our next TVC meeting is Saturday, April 1st at noon. But the song of the week is... Both a little scared, neither one prepared. Beauty and the Beast. That's right. Beauty and the Beast, the rendition with Ariana Grande and John Legend. And our movie of the week is... Also, Beauty and the Beast. Comes out March 17, 2017. You have to see it. The book I chose this week for Book of the Week is The Graveyard Book. It's a book about nobody Owens, known to his friends as Bod. He's a normal boy, and he's raised in a graveyard because his parents were sadly murdered. The people in the graveyard the ghosts, vampires, werewolves, all the other phenomenon that we don't imagine decide to raise him as one of their own. Beloved master storyteller Neil Gaiman returns to a luminous new novel from the audience that embraced his New York Times bestseller, modern classic Coraline. Magical, terrifying, and filled with breathtaking adventures, the Graveyard Book is sure to enthrall readers of all ages. This week's word of the week is heart hole. One definition of this word is not in love, but the second definition is wholehearted or sincere. It was first said in As You Like It by William Shakespeare in 1623. Harthole came to English in the 1400s from late Middle English. And our app of the week is YouTube. Everyone knows YouTube. Well, YouTube was first launched November 2006. It was created by three guys who were from PayPal. And Google bought it from them for... $1.65 $1.65 billion. <laughs> Man, those guys. And our poem of the week is about pie. So this is Pie by Robert Morgan. The secret relationship of line and circle. Progress and return is always known. Transcendental and yet a commonplace. And though the connection is written, it cannot be written out in full. Never perfect, but is exact and constant is eternal and every day as orbits of electrons, chemical rings, noted here in one brief sign as gateway to comp- completed turns and the distance inside circles, both compact and infinite. That is pi. And we're talking about mathematical pi, if you haven't found that out yet. <laughs> but pi to eat is always good, too. Oh, trust me, the pi, delicious. <laughs> Well, that was the first Pod Squad podcast. Thank you for coming. And this has been Daniel Hartley and Michelle Hazekamp. Thanks for viewing.